So sometimes you might hear the terminology that this is a blind experiment. So this means that participants in the study, they don't know what the conditions are, and they don't know what the condition they're in. Participants do not know what condition they are in. So um, this is often a terminology, uh, a piece of terminology that you hear in uh, in medical studies, where patients are are blind. Uh, they don't they don't mean that they're literally blind, like they can't see. It just means that they don't know which condition they're in. They don't know whether they're in the treatment condition or the placebo condition. Um, Double blind experiments take it one step further. Not only do the participants not know, but also the, um, the research team that's administering, uh, that's interacting with the participants, those people don't know either. But also research team that interacts with participant don't know what condition participant is in. So for instance, let's say um, I am like the pharmacist who gives out the medication. So the medication might already be labeled with the person's name. I don't know what's inside of it. I don't know if the placebo is inside of it or the um, the drug is actually inside of it. So, so when I interact with the participants and give them instructions and I say, oh, you want to take this, you know, two times a day. You definitely don't want to drink milk if you're, you know, taking this medication. Um, then my interaction with the participant is the same regardless of whether they're in the uh, placebo condition or the drug condition, right? So those are called double-blind experiments. Uh, double-blind experiments are also important in psychology, where um, often research assistants who administer the study don't know what condition the participant is in. So the computer or some other recording system will record uh, which condition that the participant is in, but the, um, but the experimenter doesn't know. Now, usually the person who's in charge of the entire thing, they know what condition everybody's in. But, um, but the people interacting with the participants need to be blind in order to have a double-blind experiment.